And what Einstein's theory predicted, uh, and Einstein was well aware of this, was that I said that, that mass, the, the basis of the theory is that mass curves space and time. So that means that if you've got masses that move and things that happen, violent things that happen, you can get ripples in space and time that move out, just like ripples on a pond if you throw a stone into the pond. So these ripples in space and time from violent events will be passing through this room now because there have been very violent events out there in the universe. And those black holes were of order 30 times the mass of the sun each. They collided together. As Robin said, they, they, they outshot on the power output of the entire universe for a fraction of a second in that collision. So huge amounts of energy. But fourthly, it opens up a new window on the universe. Because if you think about the history of astronomy, going back, well, as, as far as human history, really, but with the telescope, Galileo and all this, all we've done is look at light. They, they don't care about dust. They don't care about the fact the universe was opaque um, until quite some time after the Big Bang. So in principle, you can, you can view, even in principle, you can view the Big Bang.